Okay, in uh, this lecture we're going to talk about variation. Uh, variation is uh, is actually a concept by which we're looking at how things are related to each other in a proportional way. Uh, for example, um, if you're making, uh, say, eight, $8 per hour and you work, say, for two hours, then it's 8 times 2 is 16 because the amount you're being paid per hour is proportional to the number of hours that you work. So this is a direct proportionality. Now, um, so one varies directly with the other. Okay, so you increase the hours, it uh, increases your um, outcome. So for example, 8 times 2 would have been $16 that you earned. So the amount you earn is directly proportional to the number of hours that you work, and we have a fixed rate of $8. So if we were to do that, so let's suppose that you know, I is the income, and $8 is the, uh, the constant of variation, and this would be the time, then if you work three hours, then you'd get $24. So this is direct variation. So the income here varies directly with the amount of time that you work. Uh, we also have direct variation to the nth power. All right, well, how do we actually uh, put, put this down? Well, if it's direct, we say, all right, so let's suppose that one, const one uh, variable, let's say y varies directly um, to x. Then we say that y is equal to kx. This is the constant uh, here called constant of variation. So in this case the eight dollars is the constant of variation. Now we can do the same thing with the direct variation to the nth power so if y varied directly with n uh, with x to the nth power then we'd have y equals kx to the n. All right if we had an inverse variation if we had an inverse variation means that as one increases the other one decreases so a direct uh, inverse variation would be k over x, and if it's to the nth power, then it would be k over x to the n. And then we have uh, we have combined and joint variations uh, <coughs> with a number of different kinds of uh, uh, variables that they can. So, for example, if we had um, it varies to the nth power of x and the um, nth power of z, then we'd have y would be k, x to the n, z to the m. And uh, so these are the kinds of variations we're going to deal with. Now, to, to solve a variation problem, what we do is we write the general relation among the variables uh, as an equation, like we did up here. All right, like here. All right, and this one. Um, and we use the constant k as our constant of variation. We substitute in the given values so that we can actually find what that constant of variation is. Now remember it's a constant, so it's always the same for a particular problem. We then substitute that value of k into the equation from step one to obtain a specific formula. So now we have an actual formula for the relationship between the variables. Then we substitute the remaining values and solve for the required variable. Well, well let's look at this simple one here we see that y varies directly as x, so what we have is y is equal to kx. Now we have that when y is 20, all right, uh, that's when x is equal to 4. So this implies then that 20 would be equal to k by 4, which implies that k would be uh, 20 over 4, which is 5. So our actual formula would be y equals 5x. Now we want to find um, y when x is negative 6. So when x is negative 6, we'd have y is equal to 5 times negative 6, which would be negative 30. All right, now here's a, a word type problem. Let's suppose we have current. Let's call current, uh, the usual form is I. All right, and... Uh, in electricity and then it varies inversely with resistance let's call resistance its normal uh, symbol which is R and uh, we have that uh, the current varies inversely as the resistance 
So this means current is equal to 1 over the resistance, but of course we note say it's 1, it's actually k over r. k is the constant of proportionality. Uh, so that's our, uh, our equation. Now it says if the current is 50, 50 amps, uh, when the resistance is 10, then what do we have? We have I, which of course is uh, 50, equals K over 10, which implies that K is equal to 500. So our, our actual formula then is I equals 500 over R. And we're now told, um, find the current if the resistance is 5 ohms. So if R is equal to 5 ohms, then I is equal to 500 over 5, which of course is 100 amps. Okay. Alright, next one is a little bit more complicated. Let's suppose that Y varies directly as X. Okay, so Y, now we need a constant here. Alright, directly as X. And inversely as M squared and R squared. Right, so there's our general formula. Now, we have that y is equal to 5 thirds when x is equal to uh, 1 and m is 2, so that would be 2 squared and r squared, r of course is 3 so I end up with k over 4 by 9 is what 5 thirds is, which of course is k on 36. So this means that k is equal to 5 times 36 over 3, or 5 thirds times 36, and that will in fact be 3 into 36 go 12, so that would be 60. So our actual formula is y is equal to 60x over m squared r squared. Now we want to find y when x is 3. So when x is 3 and when m is 1 and r is 8. So this becomes uh, 60 times 3 is 180 and 1 times 64. We can cancel by 2's at least. 90 over 32, we can do 2's again actually, so that's 45 over 16, and that's what y is uh, under those conditions. So this is how we uh, work with variation.